Well, hello there, YouTubers, and welcome to another Dr. Cassette video. And in this video, you're going to see another item that you never expected to see on my channel. It's a computer. Yeah, it's, uh, this is all sitting in the other house where I'm, well, currently I'm pretty much living in here because uh, my actual room is pretty much empty by now, so it's kind of boring in there. Um, and this is this is only a temporary setup because um, whenever I get my room back, uh, I'm going to need the monitor because this is the only monitor I have. Got to ask my friend if he is, he has uh, some monitor left or what? I don't know. I'll probably visit the dump and try to find one there. You can always find those big CRT. Uh, type monitors, but I'm not going to get one of those because they're just too big. Um, I like those flat screen monitors. <laughs> they're just so much nicer. So, yeah, uh, remember, I don't know much about computers, and um, so also to all the people who like to leave comments on my on, on this video, uh, don't tell me anything about your computer because I'm not going to understand it anyway. Um, this is um, this is a Packard Bell computer. Let's see if we can get a look at that. There it is, Packard Bell. And um, this is the old computer of my brother, which he had uh, before he got my old computer. Um, yeah, it's it's a bit of a <laughs> it's kind of funny. Um, it always has been in the way. My father got a new computer. After a few years, he gave it to me, and after a few years, I gave it to my brother. But uh, by now, that classic order is kind of mixed up because <laughs> uh, I got a new computer. The computer I have right now, uh, I got brand new, and um, my brother, my brother, very soon is going to get a brand new computer too because he is getting a lot into computer gaming and of course all those old computers are not good enough for that. Um, now well this this is a Packard Bell computer but my friend and I we modified this thing actually this uh, this um, uh, on this computer my friend showed me how to actually build computers. Um, we um, we built in some more RAM, and we built in some uh, uh, another hard drive. We built in um, these uh, CD-ROM drives. They are not for DVD; they are for CD-ROMs. And this one here up here is actually a recorder. And um, we um, we actually plan to add another floppy drive to this. <laughs> Because uh, I really wanted to have a computer with a B drive, because usually you get A, and then it goes on with C. Um, so, but that failed because the power supply in there doesn't have enough outputs for that. Um, and uh, yeah, this is the computer where I took out the graphics card, which I intended to build into my uh, current, my new computer. Um, the one that didn't fit in there, and um, yeah, as you can see, it's uh, it's all running. It's running Windows 98, and um, you can. Uh, I found a uh, place where it shows all sorts of technical data, so I'm going to visit that. Now the computer is kind of stupid. I got to get another one at the dump, a newer one, and well, don't. <laughs> uh, you can never know. I once saw a computer at the dump that must have been from 2004 or so. Really, really new computer. So there you go. <laughs> uh, really. In fact, you ever you hardly even find those old computers there. There, all those trashed computers usually are newer than this one. <laughs> oh well, what a wasteful society we are living in. Now this, um, uh, let's see, um, it's, um, yeah, the motherboard is kind of stupid. Um, 
because uh, now this all the parts we built into here we took out of old other computers. Um, we actually have tons of computer parts lying around here because all the old computers that we didn't need anymore we just took apart and saved all the parts and basically just threw away the housing. I do have a 40 gigabyte um, hard disk for the computer but um, the stupid motherboard does not accept it. It's unable to uh, recognize that thing. I'm pretty sure that on that 40 gigabyte hard drive um, there is from from one of my very old computers a an installation of Windows 2000 which I had oh well years ago however let's move on and um, let's see system thing yeah there we go oh I gotta put my finger here because my full name is there and I don't want that to be in the internet but uh, as you can see, this is the second edition of uh, Windows 98. And uh, let's see, for the computer, it's a genuine Intel Pentium 2 processor. And we have 160 megabyte of RAM. And uh, yeah, that, that's pretty much all I can tell you about this thing. So uh, yeah. Uh, and um, what I'm planning to do is uh, my father recently did a bit of a clean out to all his computer stuff and um, and all the disks uh, he found oh, he actually wanted to throw all of those away I saved this one Windows 2000 Professional this is and it is an original version it comes with this let's see Oh yeah, we can even get it onto the camera with this weird looking CD in there. And what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to, or I will go ahead and try to get Windows 2000 Professional onto this computer. Because, um, well, Windows 98 is just, um, well, it's, uh, it's simply outdated. I mean, with this Windows 98 on there, the computer will not even take USB thumb drives or something like that. Um, so yeah, it's it's really kind of stupid this program. It, for example, another thing is another annoying thing. You can't save any music files on there. You can't like copy it from from uh, the CD drive. It will just uh, create a shortcut. That's all kind of annoying. So um, yeah, <laughs> and yeah, of course this one has a floppy uh, disk drive for all of you who don't remember these are those uh, floppy affairs and um, yeah <laughs> uh, I haven't had a floppy disk drive for years now so this this noise the thing is making it <laughs> really uh, takes me back Oh well. <laughs> oh yeah. There you go. So, uh what I'm trying to do now is to get the Windows uh, 2000 installed on here cuz I'm pretty sure that well on this computer is nothing important anymore. Uh we got those two hard disks in there. Uh one uh one I think is uh drive and uh, I'm actually not sure one of those uh, contains two uh, things two uh, whatever that are shown here as separate things and I I would like to unite those two uh, things because uh, they're it's, oh well <laughs> 251 megabytes on this one and this one 900 uh, 88 at least and C oh has 5 gigabytes oh well <laughs> oh well still with a few videos on this one uh, the hard disk would be full <laughs> so yeah I'm going to experiment with this thing and uh, whenever I made a progress I will be back